peeps. Hi. Hey. Um, I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, our place just, um, I, that light right there that you see, like, up, I guess I can't point to you. Anyway, it's that light right up there. Um, anyway, I need to put light up there, but it's so tall, I can't reach it, and I need to get a really tall ladder to put the lights in. Anyway, there's so many things I need to get done in this place, but anyway, so I'm sorry for the lighting that so it's so dark. Um, this condo is really dark, and there's just not a lot of light in it. There's no, not a lot of windows or anything like that. Anyway, but that's not the point of this story. Uh, that uh, that That's not the reason why I got, I'm going to, um, got on here to really make a story and talk to y'all. Anyway, I want to tell y'all what happened at work, um, or well, not at work, but I wanted to tell you a story about one of my co-workers. Okay, so like today's Sunday. So he said that, um, last night, which is Saturday night, he got off work and, um, it must have been really, really late. Anyway, he went to Walmart, um, and there was a Walmart not too far from us. And so he said he went to Walmart and, um, he went into Walmart, um, did whatever he was doing, shopping, whatever. And anyway, as he was coming out of Walmart, he said that these two guys approached him. And one of them had a knife and the other one had a gun. And so the guy with a knife stuck a knife to his, to the guy's, to my coworker's neck and stole his wallet and stole his cell phone. And, um... And said that if you he told him said don't say anything if you if you say anything I'll kill you I'll cut your neck um, anyway so um so I guess my coworker apparently was scared and things like that it's a guy and so he gave them the uh, his money and his cell phone um, and he's a server so he had cash on him I'm assuming um, so you know um, he lost all that. I'm sorry. Anyway, so then, um, so he got in his car, and as he was driving away, the guys had, like I said, they had a gun. So as my as my coworker was driving away, he the the sus suspects literally shot at his car, and um, they shot they shot the passenger side window. Well, um, the my coworker, he had to literally lay down into the car to keep from getting hit with the bullets. Um, anyway, so um, he drove to work today, and you could see the actual bullet holes in the windshield of his car. Um, so he was just really scared, and just you know, I can just imagine. I mean, how scared he was. I, that oh my god, that's wow. I just, I mean, I really can't imagine, but I mean. I can't. I imagine that it was just extremely scary for him, but um, yeah, they robbed him and put a knife to his neck and and then literally um, shot his car, you know, shot at him as he was leaving. So that was just really scary. Um, I'm glad he's okay and safe and and everything. Um, man, that's just scary. And but that that Walmart's not very far from our house. It's probably about two miles from our house. Um, so it's just. Wow, and of course it was late at night and things like that, and so just to think that, you know, that stuff happens, and but then, you know, I've never known anyone that it's happened to myself. I've never known anyone personally until now. So, um, and it's just really scary. My daughter, some my daughter and I will sometimes go to Walmart or Target to go or Walmart to go grocery shopping after we get off. Oh, sorry, I'm so tired, I guess. Um, anyway, so, that's my dog. So, anyway, um, yeah, it's just, you just gotta be really careful and everything, and, um, it's just crazy, but, um, I just want to get on, get on here and tell y'all that story. So, um, but yeah, he was really scared and upset and just kind of, he's like, I almost died, you know? And, uh, that's just a scary thought to, you know, to think about and everything. Alright, anyway, well, I hope y'all are having a great weekend, and I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Bye.